But I wanted to do a quick DPS check with my current setup, just raw dogging it. And then I'm also going to flip critical over to Vanguard and see what the difference between Vanguard and critical is. So that's kind of what I wanted to do right now. 1820 spec, 563 crit, should be somewhere near 94%. I also have uh, precise on my bracelet. Then we're doing propulsion because ether predator takes a while to build up. So an extra 3% there. Ends and some nines. Let's let's see how we do. You can do it. I think if I had all 10 cooldowns, it would be a little less downtime. You can do it. Okay. So it looked like it was getting between 27 and 30 at one point. But yeah, I do have 94, almost 95% crit. I, I think if I had two more 10 cooldown. Does it not show it? Is it blocked? Yeah, it is blocked. Okay. So that was that first test. Okay. If I was running Vanguard, what I would do... For that, I'm gonna try that out at least. We'll do spiral and then probably cool tracker. Do a nine spiral tracker. We're gonna switch it to Vanguard. We'll suck on this universe. I lose the boss damage. <laughs> or no, I lose additional damage. So I need a five three additional damage to do do the Vanguard test properly. Son of a bitch. I'll still do this just because I'm curious, but I need to get additional damage eight on this guy so i can do this properly because i don't want to do this and then it'd be like oh well you don't have the main buffs for your character all right so two minutes on the docket so we're trying vanguard with raid captain and a cooldown reduction gym on spiral tracker here we go The awakening got me to 33 there. What if you put quick recharge in spiral tracker if that's actually more damage? Then I have him bleed.
It's about the same. You get some downtime. Definitely helps a little bit to have have the mana not run out though. It's a little bit better. So let's see what I don't know twenty. Six million, so 26 million times 3% would be 780,000. So if I had the pants on, it would be 26,800,000 DPS if I had the pants elixir on with Vanguard. So it's like a million DPS difference. Because the other one, it was like 27 something, something around there. So that's, that's not too bad, I guess, if you run it that way. And then if you do Raid Captain with Critical and Spiral Tracker, what's the difference of that? Figure that one out, huh? Same exact build, the cooldown reduction on Spiral instead of Cruel Tracker. Two minutes on the clock. Oh shit, I don't have my awakening. <laughs> I gotta wait. I was literally gonna awaken it there. I'm just standing still, not casting awakening because I didn't reset it. That's funny. Alright, let me try it here. There we go. Yeah, I'm thinking this is going to be pretty similar to the other setup with Grenade. They seem pretty close. His Raid Captain is definitely more damage if you're activating it. And it sort of makes up for the loss of, uh, damage going from Spiral Tracker, or going Grenade to Spiral Tracker, rather. Because Spiral Tracker does half the damage of Grenade. So, oh, it's over. I probably could have played that better with if I had the cooldowns reset and wasn't just standing there doing nothing, but it seems r relatively similar. Just the, the challenge with Raid Captain and Spiral Tracker is that you're fighting spacebar desync. Because if you don't spacebar and get a Spiral Tracker out for each ability, you're not activating the full damage potential of Raid Captain. So I'm sure I wasn't doing that perfectly, which is why it's less damage uh, in the end. Also, I was jibber jabbing while I was doing it. But yeah, that should give you an idea of the current state of the Pistolier with 40 set critical, all level seven transcendence, five by three plus one with the propulsion as the as the plus one. Ether Predator is obviously a, a an option as well. You just don't get the 3% right away. You get that towards the end of a fight. And then I've got all tens on the main damage abilities and then nines on the other ones. And yeah, so I'll probably do something <laughs> crazy like this. Try something out like this for tier four or Instead of Raid Captain, do Mass Increase and Curse Stall with Propulsion 3. That might be interesting. So yeah, I don't know. Grudge, Pistler, Curse Stall, and Adrenaline, I feel, are like core. And then you can play around with these two. So this is probably going to be more damage, but you risk desync because you have to rely on Spacebar and 
but maybe you can make up for that with the cooldown reduction stuff. But yeah, I'm I'm pretty stoked to try out new builds. That is gonna be fun.